In the vast theater of the cosmos, an epic event is about to be revealed. Opposition, the moment when the Earth comes between the planet and the sun, unveils our star protagonist, Jupiter. During opposition, the celestial giant rises in the east as the sun hides in the west, placing them on opposite sides of the Earth. Jupiter, the supreme star, stands out in the night sky with unparalleled splendor. It is the time when it becomes larger and brighter than at any other time of the year. But wait, the celestial dance reveals a secret. The opposition does not always coincide with its closest approach. This time, Jupiter will be only 370 million miles from Earth, a close encounter we haven't seen for decades. On November 2nd, 3 at 5 a.m. GMT or midnight CDT, Jupiter will reach opposition, bringing it into an epic clash with the sun in our sky. Get ready to unveil the secrets of the universe and witness the epic return of Jupiter, the giant of the skies. Welcome to Universal Narratives. If you are an astronomy enthusiast, prepare to experience extraordinary months in November and December. The largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, is about to make its closest approach to Earth in an event called Opposition. And this is just the beginning of the exciting celestial show that awaits us. Let's start with Jupiter's Opposition. A superior planet is said to be in opposition when Earth comes between the planet and the Sun. During this phenomenon, Jupiter appears in the eastern part of the sky as the Sun sets in the west, placing them exactly on opposite sides of the Earth. Jupiter's opposition is an event that occurs every 13 months, making the planet larger and brighter than at any other time of the year. Not only is Jupiter spectacularly visible during opposition, but we will also enjoy an incredible proximity between Earth and Jupiter. On the night of November 1st, 2, the distance between the two planets will be only 370 million miles or 595 million kilometers, one of the closest approaches in decades. Jupiter will reach opposition on November 2nd, 3 at 5 GMT or midnight CDT, bringing Jupiter directly opposite the Sun in our sky. The last opposition of Jupiter was remarkable because the planet was closer to Earth than in over 70 years, just 367 million miles away. Although this year Jupiter will be slightly further away, the difference will be negligible. When a superior planet reaches opposition, it rises in the east at sunset, reaches its highest point in the sky around midnight, and sets in the west at dawn. Jupiter will shine brightly throughout the night, clearly visible high in the sky, this planet will be the most conspicuous bright point after Venus, but with an advantage. Unlike Venus, which is visible only in the morning or evening, Jupiter will be a bright beacon in the night sky. Jupiter is also famous for its 92 confirmed moons orbiting it, but four of them, the Galilean moons, are particularly fascinating. These satellites are named after Galileo Galilei, who first discovered them in the 17th century. With a good pair of binoculars, you can easily see Jupiter's band and, if you're lucky, you might spot three or four of the Galilean moons. If you want to explore Jupiter's great red spot and its features, a 4-inch or larger telescope with some green or blue filters will give you an extraordinary view. During opposition, the Galilean satellites will appear as bright points on both sides of Jupiter, creating a spectacular image. To observe Jupiter's opposition in all its magnificence, Look for an ideal observation position, a high place away from city lights with a dark, cloudless sky. This spectacle will be clearly visible in the days leading up to and following November 2nd. So take advantage of the good weather on both sides of this date to participate in this extraordinary observation. But Jupiter is not the only planet that will catch your attention during these months. Saturn, with its fascinating rings, will be visible before Jupiter, before twilight. Saturn will reach its highest point in the southern sky about two hours before midnight and is bright enough to be visible to the naked eye. To see the details of the planet's rings, a telescope will give you an even more spectacular view. However, the other two planets visible to the naked eye, Mercury and Mars, are emerging from the glare of the sun and will remain hidden in the daytime sky in November. Venus, in the meantime, will be the queen of the dawn and pre-dawn sky, rising a few hours before sunrise. If you live in Europe, Western Russia, Greenland, or Africa, on November 9th, you will be able to witness a rare celestial event, the lunar occultation of Venus. The moon will pass in front of Venus, 
temporarily hiding the brightest planet from view. This spectacle will be particularly exciting in these parts of the world, as you will be able to observe the event from beginning to end. For the rest of the world, the two objects will appear incredibly close, offering breathtaking views before dawn. Finally, let's not forget the Geminid meteor shower, one of the most spectacular meteor events of the year. This meteor shower will be active from December 3rd to 17, reaching its peak on the night of December 13th, 14. The Geminids are known to produce bright, fast meteors, and under ideal conditions, they could put on a show of up to 150 meteors per hour. This year, the new moon will occur on December 12th, guaranteeing dark skies free of moonlight for fully observing this phenomenon. To observe the Geminids, find a dark place, away from city lights, spread out a blanket or a reclining chair, and give your eyes about 20 minutes to get used to the dark. Meteors can appear in any part of the sky, but they will seem to radiate from the constellation Gemini. The best time for observation will be after midnight, when the radiant point is highest in the sky. In conclusion, get ready to enjoy these extraordinary astronomical events in the coming months. In addition to Jupiter and its opposition, Saturn, Venus, and the Geminid meteor shower, don't forget to keep an eye on Pluto. The latest close-up images of the dwarf planet reveal something fascinating that might make us reevaluate its position in the list of solar system planets. If you missed this exciting development, be sure to stay updated on this incredible discovery. Our universe is a mysterious place, and these months offer an exceptional opportunity to explore it.